Hi, welcome to DIY. I'm Lish, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at how to start a worm farm. Now, worms are a fantastic little pet. You don't have to take them for walks, they look after themselves, they eat everything you don't eat, and it's the sort of pet you want. They poo all through the garden. It's brilliant. So, you'll need a worm farm. I'm using a prefab one today. Uh, you'll need some bedding material for your worms. So we've got some shredded up newspaper as well as a coconut fibre called core. Um, that is a brick dried. We're going to soak that to make a bed. Now the worms that you'll get for your worm farm are a certain type of worm. Red wrigglers, blue wrigglers and tiger worms. Now these worms are really efficient eaters. Voracious, I would say. And they're great composters. They eat about half their body weight a day. Now, when you think half their body weight, I mean, it's, they're not exactly a big, you know, thing. But, you can imagine about 15,000 of those in your worm farm, they can get through a lot of green waste. To get started, we want to be soaking this core. Worm farm is very simple. This is not high-tech gadgetry. You've got a lid, and that's good to help keep your worms a little bit cool, stop things getting in and eating your worms. And then you've got layers. There's little holes all through here to let the worms climb in between the layers. And then this bottom layer here, the very bottom, is fully closed, no holes. It's also got a little island there for the little worms if they ever want to go on holiday. It's actually if the worms do fall into their own urine, what a nice way to die that would be, um, they can actually climb up and sit on this island and then come up through and wriggle to safety. There's also a tap so you can get all the, the wormwee out of the worm farm because the wormwee is a fantastic liquid fertiliser. The worm castings, which are the poo, that's all your food that's gone through the worm's digestive system, also makes great fertiliser for your garden. Now you can start assembling your worm farm. Take one layer, on the bottom. Then you want your core to be moist, not soaking. So you give it a good squeeze out, sprinkle it all on the bottom. Now then you want your newspaper. You also want that moist, but not sopping. They'll love it. They will love it. Those worms. So next we're going to put on their feeding layer. This is like this bedroom. We're going to put in their dining room. Look, I don't want to molly cock my worms. I know people that microwave food for their worms. Some people even blend up their food for their worms. I'm not that bad. But I do like to create zones. I'm a little bit house proud. Now, this is going to be their feeding layer. This is where you put all their food, they'll do their poo. So it's toilet and lounge. How nice is that? Toilet, lounge and dining. So I'm going to tip in my worms that I've got. Stud worms. Hopefully they're going to be... Oh, look at that. They're going to show my new worms just how to live life. Now, this won't be enough worms to start you off if you're starting from scratch. You'll need a starter pack. Um, but tip all your wormies in there. Oh, look at them. Hello. Release them. Ah, oh, they're free from captivity. So now that you've got your little worms in there, you've got to feed them something. A common mistake people make is to give them lots of food, thinking they've got oh, 500 worms here. Oh, at least 500 worms there, 1,000 worms, surely they can eat a lot. They can't, they just need a little bit. So put in a little bit of food in there and see how they go with that. Once they're through that, give them a bit more. Once they're through that, give them a bit more. You know you've overfed them if you start getting a lot of slimy food, a lot of those black vinegar flies, and then it all turns to, uh, starts to ferment and worms don't like it because they don't like acidic stuff. So don't feed them onion peel, onion skin, citrus stuff, dairy, meat. Um, they'll probably eat cut glass and barbed wire. I think they're like the goats of the nematode world. But um, you've just got to feed them non-acidic foods. 
Another thing that they don't like is um, being too wet. So make sure that the, their, their house is moist but not saturated. And another thing is to keep them relatively cool, especially in summer. Make sure you've got a nice big wad of uh, moist newspaper on top of their worm farm so that that buffers for them from the really harsh summer heat. Cover them in a wet bit of uh, hessian or something as well. And then your worm farm should keep you in beautiful worm castings and worm wee forever if you look after them and they're not that hard to to um to look after and the beauty is that they reproduce every four to six weeks with three tiers like this you can have up to 15,000 worms in this worm farm so you can start giving worms away as presents how nice would that be to receive a nice big box of worms on your birthday i couldn't think of anything i'd like more well maybe i could so thanks for watching this DIY episode. I hope you have a great success with your worm farm. If you don't and you need to do some troubleshooting, I've done a video on troubleshooting your worm farm um, for any problems that might, you might encounter. Not sort of psychological ones, but just sort of general physical ones. Um, if you want to know how to harvest your worm castings, I've done a video on that as well. But otherwise, explore the other DIY topics Subscribe to the newsletter and happy GIY. The world's top travel experiences. Do you think worms would like to go on that? Wormies? Would you like to go to Russia?